dudes and dudettes. How are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to Tele Chazzy, the segment on this channel where I review the many television shows that I've watched over the years, you know, whether they're old or new, long and short, one season, multiple seasons, you know, this and that. However, what I'm going to be talking about today is, I believe, the very first mini series I've ever covered on this channel here, you know, and I discovered that it was a mini series when I, you know, looked it up a little bit here, you know, because it's been a few weeks since I've watched it, you know, but it's it's still fresh in my memory, you know, but I did not know that it was a mini series until looking it up here you know to create sort of like a little bit of a cheat sheet you know and it is of course echoes you know it's a very recent television series starting michelle monaghan you know i'm sorry if i mispronounced her name i never tried to pronounce her name michelle monaghan at Mon Mon monaghan monaghan mona ma that that the mana to but that that Okay, it stars that actress there, you know, from Mission Impossible and a bunch of other romantic comedies in the in the 2000s and whatnot, you know. So uh, it was released, of course, this year, 2022. You know, I didn't really feel the need to say that. I just wanted to put the title, the, the little card up here, you know. And basically, it is kind of good as kind of like a suspense thriller of sorts. You know, that's about two twin sisters who every year, for many many years, they switch places on their birthday. You know, they they live two completely different lives. One lives in the big city and is a very successful. Holy crap, I forgot her job. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's a lawyer. I think she's like a prosecutor or something, you know, but she's successful, you know, and the other twin lives in the in, in a rural town, you know, in a farm, you know, taking care of her family's land and whatnot, you know, so two very opposite lives and they switch places on their birthday every year to live those lives, you know, and also get with each other's husbands and whatnot, you know, the dude, the dude get the little sexy time and the little bunka 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 I'm sorry about that. That was a uh, that was a little uncalled for. I must control myself, you know, because this woman is beautiful and she sends my hormones into a freaking okay. So anyway, the show itself is not too bad, you know. I mean, it starts off really well. The first few episodes, you know, really build up this element of suspense that there's a much bigger mystery, you know, around that you can't see, you know, that you when you start watching, it's like, man, this is crazy. I really want to keep watching it to see where it's gonna go. I really want to see where it's gonna head, you know. I'm really curious, you know. At least that's how. I was thinking, you know, like the first two or three episodes were pretty okay, but then like in the middle towards the end, things really started to go off the rails a little bit, you know, because they, they were like, this show is obsessed with twists, you know, I almost thought that M. Night Shyamalan produced it or something because there were way too many twists, you know, and each one seemed dumber than the last, you know, it's like, it, st it started to get to a point where nothing really surprised me anymore, you know, so ultimately this show was not going to get a very high rating for me, you know, but well, I'm going to be covering a lot of other things you know so as it goes on you're going to see more of what i mean but before i continue i'm going to show you guys a clip here now from the show and hopefully it's uh, going to not you know do any copyright related crap you know usually netflix doesn't really give me any grief with this they, they let me monetize the videos you know so let's just see if it's gonna happen but anyway here's a clip from the show right now there's something you're not telling me there's nothing Birthday, Lenny. Happy birthday, Gina. Another year. Another year. As you can see, it's pretty suspenseful, you know, it really sets up the element of this mystery, you know, this grand, huge, overlying conspiracy that nobody notices except for the main characters, you know, but anyway, so it starts off, um, you know, with one of the twins, by the way, the twins' names are Gina and Lenny, you know, and they are played, of course, by Michelle. I'm not really sure how that works, but anyway, you know, their last name is McCleary, you know, so um, obviously there was a lot of, you know, splicing and maybe even CGI or I don't really know how they do this you know i personally think it would have been easy to just get two actresses who actually were twins because when they were younger in the flashbacks you saw two girls and they clearly were twins you know the actresses so why not just get two adult actresses who are twins to play the anyway uh so now one of them goes missing we are led to believe that it's lenny you know on the ranch so then gina flies over there you know and they start to try to unravel the mystery you know and now the first episode sets up a lot of things that we are led to believe are what's going to be wrapped up to a conspiracy where gina was at where lena was lenny was actually abducted you know and somebody is after the farm or the family or whatever this and that but as it goes on we start to see a lot of very strange inconsistencies you know we find out about this whole 
you know, intentional uh, life swapping thing that they do every year, you know? So then it starts to get really confusing because then Gina goes into a cave and finds a few items and then she becomes Lenny, you know, it's very weird But you know before that there there is a lot of investigations. There is a sheriff character whose name. I completely forgot. It's a uh, sheriff uh Ah, Sheriff Louise, you know, with her deputy, you know, and they're investigating everything. And uh, Lenny had a husband, which is Jack, you know, and Gina herself has a husband back in, uh, back in, uh, I think, New York or Los Angeles, wherever they live, you know, which is Charlie's. So, you know, uh, it's actually weird how it plays out because they always swap places and also take each other's husbands, you know, their lives. And then at one critical moment, you know, Gina becomes Lenny, you know, she switched places, you know, puts the, uh, she braids her hair or puts it in a different style and starts speaking with a Southern accent, you know, dresses differently then she she hits her, herself on the head with a rock and comes back to the front pretending that it's her but then whenever Lenny is in the picture Gina is absent and vice versa so you know for a very long time almost until the end of the series we don't even see them in the same place at once which of course was very convenient for Michelle you know the actress to just play one you know but um we start to get a lot more backstory to how these girls were, you know, how they got into trouble when they were younger because of mistaken identity. Whenever, like, it seems like one of the, both of them liked the same boy. So instead of, you know, letting just one of them have him, they would compromise and pretend switch places so they could both be with that boy, you know. Same thing with their other relationships and stuff, you know. It just got really confusing. But as they got older, they started to drift more apart, you know. And then they stopped switching places, you know, after, I guess, uh, Lenny got pissed or something, you know. There was a conspiracy that she was doing with this other boy I think but his name is Dylan you know yes Dylan you know she was well, like she had she was kind of in love with him since when they were kids you know but their paths didn't ever cross that way so now as adults they want to they want to grab uh, grab money or steal it you know and run away together so they have to they put together this whole crazy plan of sorts that involves releasing the horses you know but basically Lenny disappears intentionally you know she wants people to think she's gone but we, we see so many different pieces missing there are so many inconsistencies you know when Gina tries to play Lenny but then we find out that it's actually her real identity and Lenny was actually Gina all along. So it got really crazy, you know. Apparently, Lenny wanted to really distance herself from her sister. You no, know? she didn't want to feel so connected to her. So that's why this whole crazy thing happens, you know. It was weird, man. Each episode, like I said, the first few were very, very good, but as the show went on, it started to get more and more confusing, you know, to the point where the season finale just sucked, man, you know. I, I, I think that it was supposed to be a cliffhanger, but at the same time, I couldn't really tell, you know. It just felt weird. Before I continue, let's take a look at another clip here from the show. Lenny's missing. What do you mean missing? She may have been taken. What the hell happened to Lenny? Well, now that's a puzzle, isn't it? Do you think someone has her? Hey, take my own something! What is going on? Press, press. Oh, oh, oh. There's blood. Human blood? Now, when they were younger, there were a few events that kind of shaped their family dynamics in not exactly good ways you know for starters their mother died when they were young and she actually gave them different charm bracelets you know to represent their opposite personalities you know so she actually gave a charm bracelet of a lion for Lenny and a dove for Gina you know Gina is kind of like the nicer quieter one and Lenny is a little bit more more outspoken and extroverted you know so and there they have another sister Claudia who was a little bit excluded from that you know and many years later they 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 uh they uh, there was an accident where they kind of pushed her off of a ledge and she fell in uh, well, got paralyzed from the waist down, you know. So, you know, the family dynamic is very, very strange. Their father is, you know, he uh, their dad actually does die, you know, of a heart attack, you know, but then it happens coincidentally in a house that catches fire. So, they, it's, uh, the sheriff thinks that they killed their father, you know. So, it gets really crazy, man. So, these two girls grow up being connected, being very close as twins, but they start to grow apart because they are so different from each other, you know. And as adults, that's when it hits fever pitch levels, you know. Lenny goes on to say that Gina can now choose to live both personalities but she has to choose one because she wants to run away with Dylan that's what the plan was but of course when the sheriff gets involved and the deputy and other people other members of the family investigating everything starts to fall apart you know and it all hits this climax you know where they are they are they are both at a waterfall and I, I don't remember which one if it was Gina or Le Lenny the one that jumps off and kind of fakes her death you know then you just go on about their lives it really shows you how, how weird it is to live in a small rural town in America where everybody knows each other you know and 
anything you do can have repercussions. And the one thing that I found interesting was that Lenny, you know, or who we think is Lenny, was doing quite a few different things in town, you know, on the ranch. And, you know, when Gina comes in and starts to be, uh, to pretend to be her, you know, they switch places. She starts to unravel the mystery and she keeps like, there's this voiceover by the character, you know, talking to herself and asking her what the other sister has done. So it's really interesting to see how much trouble Lenny got herself in. And now that Gina has to clean up, you know, and we follow her along for the ride, you know, seeing exactly what's going on and all of the stuff that she did. And it's kind of funny to see Gina trying to play Lenny, you know, and continue as if it's normal, you know, it's really nice. You know, we start to unravel what we think is this huge conspiracy theory, you know, but it's actually just like, you know, it's just about a sister who wanted to run away with a, a lover, you know, so it just got crazy, you know. A few people get arrested falsely, you know. Eventually, the sheriff does question. When finally, the two sisters do meet, you know, played by the same actress, you know. They're questioned by the sheriff, you know, and a lot of other people too because of their birthday party. So, it's really crazy, man. Seeing them together is weird, you know. And then it starts to get even more, you know, dizzying towards the end because they start saying how they're going to switch or not switch, you know. They love each other but hate each other, you know. It just gets really freaking crazy. Flashbacks to when uh, one of them was having sex in a church and then the sister said, fired to it you know because she was jealous so it starts to get really crazy man there are a lot of different dynamics here you know it's not the worst show on netflix i will give it that you know but ultimately i was expecting so much more than what i actually got you know i was expecting something much better than that you know the the very ending the the what was supposed to be a cliffhanger you know with with uh charlie you know gina's husband going back and having written a book about them you know the dynamics between the twins and then we see that you know he's still married to one of them which we assume is Gina but Lenny is still alive or is it the other way around I don't really know but it shows that they still have been switching places it just gets really confusing you know not a very good cliffhanger ending but anyway I'm going to show you guys another clip here before I continue was something wrong between you two what did she say to you you know it occurs to me that uh, there are private things that are only shared inside of a family what the that my sister is missing and possibly dead. Or she's just run away. And so, ultimately, where do I stand with Echoes? What is going to be my final rating for this series? Well, given how it did have a few good elements of suspense here and there, building up to what ultimately, you know, were completely just dumb, you know, excuses of twists, you know? I mean, the, the, the cast was good. I really liked the actors and actresses. They really played the roles well, especially Michelle herself, you know? Everything was okay. Very good cinematography. The pacing was very, it was kind of threadbare. Like, at times it was good. It felt like it was moving at a pretty good pace but it also felt sluggish at times and a little rushed and quick at others you know so it was very inconsistent you know in terms of that so the overall atmosphere was nice you know alternating between you know the big city and coming back to the, the vast majority of this of the series takes place at the ranch the farm you know so it's nice to see a rural interior american setting you know it was nice but ultimately because of the overall lack of a really good story and not a lot of very heavy suspense and a very very lackluster you know ending to it that really it didn't conclude anything very satisfactorily i'm going to have to give this series six out of ten as my final rating you know not a big fan i liked it you know but it's not one that i would personally recommend you know i'm going to be reviewing a few more tv shows that i watched before the end of the year but this one here i'm literally just going in order you know and this one just didn't really sit too well with me you know god it had such promise it started out so well but then unfortunately it just started to go off the rails a little bit you know there's really not much that i can say man you know the characters, some of them just felt very lackluster. When Dylan, for example, dies, you know, I mean, it didn't really feel like a lot of a, it didn't really feel like an emotional twist, you know, characters getting hurt and almost losing their lives, you know. It didn't really keep me on the edge of my seat, you know, as a suspense thriller is supposed to do. So, you know, it was nice. Subverted expectations very nicely, I will admit, you know, seeing the sisters actually playing each other and switching places and this and that, you know, starts to make a little bit of sense. But ultimately, it just fell through, you know, I didn't really enjoy it so 
much and that's my final rating you know and that's it guys i'm sorry if this got a little bit short it's because i really didn't like the show too much and there's really not much to say it's only seven episodes after all so one of my shorter telechats is here and also my battery's running low so i gotta get going if you guys if you have watched the show let me know in the comments below tell me you know and uh yeah if you liked it didn't like it let's have a little debate in the comment section you know let's let's just keep it pg and if you guys happen to like this video please go ahead and give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because i release videos every single day and while you're at it hit the notification bell too so you can know exactly what time i upload and it's all good guys it's all good this is chazzy signing out for now and as always i will see you guys in the next video roll the outro screen with the echoes there be the question you have no idea what's going on here open your goddamn eyes you've got to fix this lenny What have you done?